Hi everyone, it's Molly. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for being here. I am very excited for this next series of paintings. I'm doing, and I'll probably do darker bases to start, but I am doing metallic swipes this time. So my first one, I want it to be really minimalist. So I'm just doing a black base with bronze and gold. It's kind of like a bronze, copper, gold. And that's it. And then I'm gonna kind of see where that leads me. I have a couple of ideas for some other metallic swipes. So I love it when this happens, when kind of something just comes to you and you just go with it and you get to play and experiment. So I can't wait for you all to see these. I hope that you enjoy this video. Let's paint. Hi everyone, hope you are doing all right. So I'm going to do something that I think is gonna be interesting. So I did my Bright Line series and that was uh, either a white or a black base with super bright rainbow colors in the middle as a swipe. So this time I wanted to play with some, and I might do a white base as well, but some darker bases and just all metallics or maybe a metallic and a pop of color as a swipe and I think this first one I'm gonna do it super minimalist so I'm gonna use kind of like almost like the rule of, of thirds I'm gonna go for a third of the canvas like down here as the focal point and have this be just really negative black space here so I hope that's gonna work out I'm not gonna paint my um, edges because when I use gloss medium and flow trawl in my mixture, it covers the sides really well, so I don't need to paint them. I am using, and I need to stir it up a little bit more actually, I am using um, the, uh, I was about to say Amsterdam flow trawl, the uh, Amsterdam white and Australian flow trawl mixed about one part paint to about three parts um, uh, pouring medium. This is what I mean. Everybody asks, I get it on eBay. The Fluid Art Company um, also has this. Um, and then I am using, here it is. When I say gloss medium varnish, it is one product. And it is by, uh, I get this from Jerry's Artorama. It, I don't use it as a varnish. I use it as a medium. So it's a polymer gloss medium and varnish. But I like Liquitex gloss varnish to actually finish my paintings because um, it has really good UV protection. And this Creative Inspirations ones, Creative Inspirations is normally like a student grade paint, but I use them all the time. Um, but it does not um, say on the back how good the UV protection is. So that's why I still varnish over them with Liquitex gloss varnish. I am going to grab just a piece of paper to swipe, um, wipe off my swipe tool with, and then I'm gonna get started. Okay, so I like to reuse things. So I just take my artist loft, the cardboard that comes like the flimsy stuff that a uh, cardstock, I guess, that comes on the canvas and I just reuse those pieces. So I'm gonna lay this down here and this I will swipe my with the white. So the first one that I'm gonna do, and I am gonna probably make this a series as well. So let me see, I'm gonna start down here. So I'm gonna pour a bigger puddle up here. Some down there. Um, so for this, I am going to make this a series. And I think I'm going to do, like I said, metallics and maybe a pop of color. I'm going to play around with negative space. This is just going to kind of be an exploration one. I still have a couple from the Brightline series that I want to try. I want to cover the canvas in color because I, I did those pretty minimal swipes in the middle. And I want to do another swipe and scoop with a lot more color. The one that kind of looked like a turkey, that one um, was very minimalist as well. I want to do like super bright. So I do have some more of those as well that I want to do. Just pop in those extra air bubbles. All right, so tonight is going to be super simple. It is going to be this kind of copper bronze color. 
and I'm going to do it right up in here. And if I go off the edge on this side, that's totally okay. And then I'm going to do my Creative Inspirations Gold. For silver, I like Soho Silver better. For gold, I like, I like Soho Gold as well and Creative Inspirations. But Soho Paints and Creative Inspiration Paints, they are so cell reactive, it's insane. And so in my medium, I'm using Floetrol Gloss Medium Varnish in a ratio of about 70 to 30. And like I said, my Amsterdam and Australian Floetrol is about one to three parts. It's one part paint and about, I would say two to three parts um, Australian Floetrol. And then for the paints, I do about one to three as well. Um, they're really thick though. Okay, so I want this to be kind of minimal, so I'm just gonna start swiping. You wanna just get the top edge and just kind of let it start to react, just like that. And that's it. That's gonna stretch out over there. Oh, wow, that is gorgeous. So I'm going to take my smaller palette knife. I just got these palette knives on Amazon. I'm going to take the small one and I, I'm just going to swipe this actual color, I think, a little bit down here. And then I'm going to take this white because this is like a big chunk of white right here. I'm just going to dip on in and kind of roll it on around so that I get the actual metallic color to come through. And same thing right here. I think I'm just going to kind of swipe this on along this edge. I don't think I want to do any more. I'm debating right here whether or not to just kind of lift this part up. I'm going to regret that. I know. I think I'm going to regret that. I should have left it alone. I mean, we'll see, right? So, all right. So I'm going to stretch this out. I am going to stretch to the bottom over here first. Move these out of the way and try not to knock them over. So yeah, I am going to stretch to this side first and go ahead and get my paints covered. My canvas covered. See, here I am. I can't talk to you. I'm debating whether or not I want to put a little bit more black there. I wanted to save it in case I needed it up here. because I know what's gonna happen. It's gonna roll over the edge and then it's just all gonna kind of be down here. But let's see. Okay. Okay, I like that part. This is just absolutely stunning. Do you still have some air bubbles? You know I haven't said it in a while. <laughs> Those of you that watch my channel often know what I'm talking about. I'm, 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 gonna, I'm not gonna say it. I'm not gonna, bubbles, darling. <laughs> oh, my <God. laughs> oh my goodness. Okay, so see this is all gonna kind of smush together until I get right down there. And like I said, I knew that that was gonna go off that edge, but that's okay because I want this to be really minimal. I should have put a little bit more paint there, but that's okay. So now I'm going to stretch this on down this way. I'm holding underneath so that I don't 
See, that's just gonna stretch all that lacing out and it's gonna be phenomenal. Let that roll over the edge there. I'm gonna come up to this side up here and then I think that might be it. I might drag just a little bit along there, but I just wanted this one to be super simple. I am gonna pour the rest of this paint on here because it's thicker. It normally takes a little bit more paint to cover all the sides and kind of get it to flow. All right, so let me wipe my I'm like such a mess. I'm st my I'm sticking to the floor because I was painting big paintings. I spilled a bunch of paint over there. It's just been a go at it. Okay. So now I'm going to come down. Now the first thing I did was made sure that this right here was moving in the center and not to the side. Because I'm going to come up this way and then over to the side a little bit. So now I'm stretching that out. And the reason that I did that was so that I wouldn't lose my whole design over the side initially. And then I can bring this back. And I think this is about the perfect amount of negative space I want. Yes. So I think all I'm gonna do is take, and I can get my sides in a second. I am gonna take this and kind of make it a little bit wispier. And take this. I like that little dot there and leaving it. And then take this part up here. Nope, don't like that part. You don't like it, you just touch your finger on it. There we go. Broke that back up. Just move one more hand down along because there was some color underneath there. I like that better. with this the way that it is. It has good amount of negative space. Maybe the one thing I would do is stretch this back over to the side just a little bit. Let's see if I can actually do it. Let's see if the paint's moving at all anymore. Okay. Bring it back. Yep, done. I love how it kind of fades in over here. All right, I'm gonna touch up my sides and then I'm gonna bring you in for a close up. All right, this one may be a little bit difficult. I think I'm gonna, it's gonna go, it's gonna hang that way, but I've got my lights. You'll be able to see it more when I show the finished result. But look at that. And the lacing is from the Australian Floetrol mixed with the Amsterdam and also mixed with that gloss medium varnish. And then it just kind of softly dissipates up there. So I will show you what this one looks like dry. So here it is. I am so happy with this. I do have my studio lights on, so there may be a little bit of a glare, but that metallic, it is so pretty. It dried so smooth and you know, I have been straight, so you know I always get those little kind of uh, 
little, I hate to say it, like booger type things. And it's not from the Floetrol. It's because I have my paints, I'm a little messy right now, but I have them in these containers and I save them and I scrape them off my table and reuse them. And when I do that, the little ledges and lips and on the inside, they have um, little dried pieces of paint. And so I've been straining before I use it and look how smooth it is. And it's not varnished yet. That's just kind of the shine from the gloss medium. But here, I'll stop talking and take you in. I love it. I have so many ideas for this. You're gonna be seeing quite, I hope you like this type of painting because you're gonna be seeing quite a few of these. I have an idea for like one on both ends. I'm gonna start adding a pop of color. I wanna do one in white. I love it when I start a new series for something. But this was super minimalist. Love how it fades wispy there. Ah. Super happy with this one. Well, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Happy painting. Bye.